Like many others around the world, I'm working from home today as Indigo has adopted our way of continuing to support farmers who are out in the field beginning their season. Despite what an unusual Earth Day it is in the midst of a global pandemic, I'm reflecting on two constants. One, farmers are still feeding the world. And two, climate change is still a crisis. So since I can't go on my usual grower visits this year to see this progress in person, we're gonna get creative and bring you all along with me for a virtual conversation. Some of these farmers have also been recognized for their innovation and leadership as winners of our inaugural Carbon Cup competition. They're helping to demonstrate and expand our knowledge of the possibilities for agriculture to play a leading role in addressing climate change using a set of practices known as regenerative. Last year had 120 units nitrogen applied total and an average 230 bushel corn. That's not supposed to happen. That's incredible. But it's, but it's with the covers. This field's been no-till for 10 years, cover crop now. This is its, this one is the fourth year of cover crop on this field. No kidding. Which is amazing. This soil can function on its own, but we have to let it function on its own. Yeah, that's awesome. learning curve but uh, we do a lot of cover crops we actually have no row crops this year um, so Austin just planted our spring mix um, a couple weeks ago which is the oats peas red clover and corn and we're gonna graze the cows on that all summer we like to keep them moving um, I like to call that my summer workout <laughs> I was actually planting a cover into a cover. I raised that summer cover crop last year and then I was planting into it and it was eight to 12 foot tall. Sure. Uh, one of the questions that was posed to us is, well, how do you know if you've got too much? I've never had too much cover. I've had it taller than the cab on the on the tractor while we're planting and without auto steer, I don't know how I would do it. It's <laughs> like you're driving in a tunnel. <laughs> I really appreciate you taking the time to do this today and congratulations on being our national winner of the inaugural Carbon Cup. Awesome, thank you. Do you have any idea what the secret to your success is? I'm at 350,000 plants per acre easy. I usually have about 40 species that I'll have in my full season forage mix. So I've got a lot of, of species in that mix that uh, provide a lot of plants per acre.